Yeah. We are so grateful to be alive today. Um, and you don't have to mute everybody, but just mute the people who want attention. We're going to give them the attention they need this morning. Okay? Um, it is Friday the 13th. It is Friday the 13th. Finding a comfortable seat inside of yourself, finding peace within yourself, and finding gentleness inside yourself. Call yourself into a place of harmony inside. Higher power, we are so grateful for this Friday the 13th. We're so grateful for this fresh baby day. We're so grateful for the wisdom and guidance within to accomplish every dream and goal that we seek. We're grateful today for your love and your protection and your power and giving us the ability to love and protect ourselves on the planet for as long as we're here. And we're grateful for the ability to share love with those who want to hear it. We recognize that everyone does not want to hear love. We recognize that everyone does not want to be loved. But we are grateful for those who want to be loved and to hear love. And we're grateful for everyone. We know everyone comes as a teacher to teach us something powerful. Welcome to this morning's uh, daily boost. You probably uh, can see on the door it says daily morning boost. Um, we're here every day. The people go and come. Um, you're not alone, uh, soul. The work that I do is for the 800,000 people who seek to unalive themselves every year. That means that 2,191 people by the end of the day will no longer be on the planet because they're not happy to be here. Um, and if you are being constantly abused by people around you, you should leave. You should leave as soon as you can. Now, I am going to remove your uh, post only because um, it has emojis in it that we don't agree with. But I hope that you find the internal peace you need and I hope that you move to a safe environment. Environment's really, really important when it comes to growing your dreams and developing your life and the company you keep and the people around you will determine how fast or how slow you move towards your high purpose and your higher calling. This morning we're dwelling in the energy of I see. I see the comments, I see the energies, I see the people, I see the vibes. Some people woke up this morning with the vibe to be love, and other people woke up with the vibe to talk shit. And as above, so below. Uh, whatever you put out into the world comes back to you multiplied. And I see goodness. I see increase. I see, I see me. I see good for me. I see wonder for me. Remember, this vibration that I sit in, it's not popular. Anybody can have a cell phone. Anybody can log into TikTok. That's not special to have a cell phone or log into TikTok. But to spread love on the planet and to be a presence of change towards love on the planet is something special. And it's not a popularity contest, right? Uh, the trolls can come in and say whatever they want to say, but are they being love? Do they feel love inside? Do they see love? Do they see abundance? Do they see the promise of their lives and a hopeful future? Any, everybody's got a cell phone, although not a certain portion of the planet has cell phones. A certain portion of the planet has TikTok. Everybody on the planet isn't in this space or isn't on this app. The question is, what do you want to grow out of your life? What do you want to see? What do you want to become? Who do you want to be? 
and I feel sometimes sorry for the people who come into my lives giving negativity because that's exactly what's going to come back to them spiritually. They don't harm me by saying whatever they want to say. What you put out into the world comes back to you multiplied and I see the cries for help. I see the cries of pain. I see the longing to belong to yourself and to the world. Every day that I come onto TikTok, I see the cries for love, to belong to something, to belong to someone, and to belong to the world. And they may not have the language yet to say what they need, right? Most humans don't have the language to say what they need. We have, a, we have a crisis in our hearts that we don't feel safe enough to speak our needs. You won't be here very long, Sal. I hope you chill. I hope you chill. Was that five minutes good for you? It was good for me. But when you recognize that everything is a call for love or love itself, you'll see very clearly what happens in the comment sections of these spaces. If you see everything as a call for love or a call for attention towards love or love itself, you don't have any problems. And I see very, very clearly the energies of people, even in a few words. I can see how they're living by the things they're saying. If you wanna know how someone's living, listen to what they're typing or watch what they're typing and listen to what they're saying. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so when people start tap tapping in here or talking around me, I start listening. I'm like, oh, they don't love themselves, but they want to. They don't, love, they don't have a deep appreciation for their hearts, but they want to. When your third eye chakra is open, it will give you intuitive wellness and also insight into what's going on around you. You can use the color blue or indigo to charge your prayers towards forgiveness, calm, communication, confidence, knowing, and comfort. You're able to call on the Quanzic principle of Kumba, creativity, and you're eating blackberries, plums, and grapes to try to anchor your energy in IC. You can use crystals like indigo gabbro, uh, blue kyanite, labradorite, lepidolite, amethyst, and lapis lazuli. And you can also speak life over your forehead and this area between the eyes that calcifies actually in the human body. But if you open your third eye, you'll begin to see both in spirit and in truth. You'll be able to see the love around you. You'll be able to see the hope around you. You'll be able to see the peace around you by clearing and focusing on having an open and clear third eye chakra. Remember on Sundays, we start in our root chakra. The mantra of the root chakra is I am. And we move all the way up through I feel, I love, I speak, and now we've landed in I see. I speak and I see love. Now, it does not matter whether there's actual loving things happening around me because this is the spirit and the energy that I'm cultivating within. I'm making, if you will, a container in my heart for love. The cell get muted again. <laughs> calling out for love. I see you, Cell, calling out for love. I hope that all of the love that you're calling out for uh, comes back to you. I know that I, um, I got very, very good hugs today. They say that humans need about 12 hugs a day to be successful. 12. Thank you so much for uh, stamping their passport. They say that humans need about 12 hugs a day. Good morning, Quincy. They say that humans need about 12 
hugs a day to be truly successful. I hope that Cell and everyone under the sound of my voice receives and gives warm hugs a day. I got some of my hugs this morning in the shower. I got nice, warm, good smelling hugs in the shower this morning. And I pray that everyone receives love and gets at least 12 hugs today. So they'll stop being so wild in the comment sections of people they don't know. But I see everything as love or a call for love. Okay? Everything's a call for love. Those of you who come in here putting your uh, interesting comments in, I see your calls for love. I see your calls for love. And you will have that love if you allow it in. You're in here doing all of this because you need a hug. When you are imbalanced in your third eye chakra, you will dwell in confusion. You'll be misaligned with your intuition. You'll be narrow-minded and you'll have a shallow understanding of life. You'll see life simply as inch deep. A lot of folks that dwell in uh, digital spaces only want to deal on the surface. They don't want to get to know me. They don't want to get to know anybody else. They don't want to get to know themselves. They just want to have a shallow understanding and, and a narrow-minded approach. They can't receive anybody who doesn't look like them, sound like them, act like them. Uh, all kinds of comments and negativity when you are imbalanced in your third eye. But when you are open in your third eye, and my third eye is open, and Frandella's third eye is open this morning, I can tell, when you are open in your third eye, and this is going over your head this morning, get into it. The seven day pillar challenge. We start in our I am, the root chakra, at the base of the spine, and we work our way up throughout the week together as a community, daily in these morning lives. I'm here every day trying to clear up my vibration and the vibration of the planet as a faith healer and light worker. And we start in I am. I am a light worker. I am a teacher. I'm a professional live streamer. I'm a clarity coach. I'm a brother. I'm a friend. I'm a sister. I'm a wife. I am. And then from that I am, we pull all the way up through our feelings. We pull up through our, our love. We pull up through our ability to speak and express ourselves. So many people are impressed by me every day on TikTok because they're like, how does he express himself like that? I wish I could express myself like that. I wish I could give more positivity to the planet through my voice. That's Thursdays, the throat chakra. I speak, I speak love, I speak power. I speak goodness. Thank you, Frandella. I speak love over you today. You deserve and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're loved and lovable and you know it, clap your hands. It's something that you either know or something that you're coming into. We watched this morning as so many people in the chat section, they're coming into this love. They're coming in. They dip their toe in. Perhaps their mamas and their daddies and their families did not show them real love. Perhaps they were teased like me. I was teased in school. These folks in here who tease me on, on, on TikTok, I'm going to say Clubhouse, they don't bother me because I was teased throughout my elementary school experience. I was a very smart, happy, and performance-driven child. Y'all know I was teased. You watched me be teased in here. And it's okay. Um, because you grow up, you come out of that narrow mindedness, you come out of that childlike shallow understanding and you move towards an alignment with your third chakra that gives you great discernment. You're able to see someone commenting on TikTok before they even, they, they say the first emoji and you're like, thank you spirit for letting me know what I'm dealing with. How about that for a prayer today on this Friday? Thank you, Spirit, for letting me know who and what I am dealing with. It's important to know what energies you're dealing with in this life. It's important to know who's for you and who's against you in this life. Now, I don't believe in life that people are against me because the people who are against me are only against themselves. 
Um, but you'll have discernment in your life once you start tapping into that I see energy. I see people, I see events, I see opportunity, I see love. So you'll have a great discernment. You'll also get clarity. Um, you will get intuitive wisdom. You, be you will become imaginative. You will become connected. You'll be connected to yourself and to other people. I'm already connected this morning with Frandella. Frandella and I, in the, on, the, on the cosmic plane, Frandella and I have connected this morning. We have touched and agreed on the power and the presence of love this morning. We have made a decision as one human to another. Because let me tell you something about the law of frequency, y'all, and the law of vibration. I didn't mean to talk about that this morning. I'm only be here for about five minutes more. But let's talk this morning, Frandella, about the law of frequency. I can feel it now. The law of frequency and vibration. The same way that this Bluetooth uh, device is tapped into something invisible, the same way that I can push a button here and make my computer pair with this, so are humans on the psychic plane. We don't even know what we're capable of. We only have about 10% of our brain being used. Can't you tell <laughs> that humans only use about 10% of their brains? Can't you tell? But yet there is a psychic field and a cosmic field and a quantum psychic field that connects us all one to another. That's the reason why when certain countries are in war-torn states, uh, you become war-torn inside yourself. I'm feeling like I'm at war with myself. Is it because you've been tuning into the vibration of what's happening over there all day? I wonder why I'm at war with myself. I wonder why, I, why I'm dropping bombs on myself. You're tied into a psychic field of negativity, psychic field of negativity. Uh, you're, you're tapped into the psychic fields of negativity. But Frandella and I and everyone assembled this morning is tapped into that vibration of love. I am full and I receive. It is so beautiful, I am love. And they don't recognize Frandella, but they will recognize that once you tap into the frequency and the vibration of love and harmony and full and being able to receive, it becomes this thing inside of you that just makes your vibration go higher and you're not having a bad day like everybody else. You ain't worried about your bank account like everybody else. You ain't looking at uh, you know, the weather saying, oh, it's a rainy day. I guess I'm gonna have a sad day today. You're in charge of your emotions. You're in charge of your placement in the kingdom of the world. You're, you're in charge of your, of your energy. You have great discernment, clarity, intuition. You are imaginative and you are very connected to love. Over on fire this morning. Must have been the hugs and the shower. What you focus on grows. Where your energy goes, that's what grows in your life. Where your attention goes, energy flows. And we set our minds and our attention this morning and our seeing on love, positivity, hope, and the good news that we don't live in this world accidentally. If we wanted to change the world for love and vibrate higher, even in this moment, we could. If we but made a choice as humans to just Raise our vibration. Remember, folks, when you change the way you look at things, the, thing, the things you look at change. I almost said the things. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. The things, the things, things, things. When you change the way you look at something, when you change the way you look at a person, a place, an event, when you change the way you look at things, the things themselves begin to change. I'll give you, I'll give you a classic example. You ever been in love or had a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a they them friend? And when you first met them, you thought they were the most amazing person ever. They call it the honeymoon phase, where you know they can do no wrong, they can speak no wrong, they are just the cat's meow meow, top tier meow, as we see in our ecosystem of love. But then after you get to know them and they begin to fart in front of you, burp in front of you, maybe take a poop in front of you, all of a sudden they're not as shiny. Did they change? Or did your thoughts about them change?
Another, another classic example, you go to a new job, right? You're new on the job, everyone's loading you up with, with, with uh, new hire things, um, they're welcoming you in, they had a welcome lunch for you, you had all this wonderful love uh, showered on you, and you're like, wait, I love this job, this is my new job, this is my best job ever. And then after six months of being at that job doing the same thing every day, you're like, oh my God, I hate this job. Now, did the job change or did your thoughts about the job change? When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Okay? Lastly, let's talk about weathering the storms. Uh, this week's theme, and we do work a theme, I'm here every day at 10 a.m. Eastern to boost the planet with a higher vibration. I'm so lost with change currently, what do I, okay, great. I want you uh, to, I want you to go to loveandlovable.org and push the radio button and this track that you're hearing right here is under the Meditate with Flow button. If you go there and you tap Meditate with Flow, I want you to put this track on with your cell phone and just sit in stillness for 15 minutes. And I want you to pray this prayer. Are you ready for it? Are you still in the room for this prayer? I want you to go to loveandlovable.org, navigate to the radio button, and then scroll down the page and say Meditate with Flow. And then I want you to put on um, this track and I want you to pray this prayer. Show me clearly, clearly show me, I will wait. Show me clearly, clearly show me, I will wait. For 15 minutes, show me clearly, clearly show me, I will wait. As Officer Brentley saying, the answer is inside of you and it will be revealed. I promise you that you are happy, healthy, and free of suffering in your future. So the job that you have next, your requirements for your next job should be that you are happy, healthy and free of suffering show me clearly clearly show me I will wait if you for 15 minutes every day sit in a vibration like this you don't even need my track um, but my track is free on the site you just go to the site you push the button start it up it's a 15 minute track everybody has 15 minutes in their day Sit with this track for 15 minutes, day, uh, 15 minutes a day, meditate on love, and pray a very simple prayer. Show me clearly, clearly show me, I will wait. And then allow your inner wisdom to show you what to do. I know that you already know what to do. Well, if it's not happy, healthy, or free of suffering, what are you doing? If it's not happy, and this is for everybody in the room, uh, if it's not happy, healthy, and free of suffering, it's time for a change. And the one thing we talk about all the time in our community that's true is that God is change. Higher power is change. Okay? So if you know that something's not healthy, it's time to move on. Anything healthy is better than dwelling in unhealthiness. Anything healthy is better than dealing in sickness and dis-ease. If you are not easy in your life and you're dwelling in dis-ease, that's how we get here. Clearly show me, show me clearly, show me clearly, clearly show me, I will wait, I will wait. And then here's gonna be the, 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 the wildest part. You're actually gonna to have to trust yourself and trust your process to see yourself through to happy, healthy, and free of all suffering. Well, listen, if you keep speaking like that, um, as my uh, dead aunt, my dead aunt Teeny, who wasn't so teeny, 
she used to always say, you have what you say. So paint it by Violet, you keep speaking like that. You keep speaking like that, that's the life you're gonna have. I'm gonna leave you there too. You have what you say. My, my, my dead Aunt Teeny used to always say, well, Andre, you have what you say. So you keep speaking negativity over yourself. I can't find the one, I can't find the job, I can't find the person, I can't find the opportunity, I can't find the money, I can't find. If you keep speaking that way, you're gonna have exactly what you say. You have what you say. So I would, I would clean that up too. I would stop speaking so toxic and negatively over yourself because you do have what you say. You have what you say. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're in day six. Yeah, we're in day six. Yeah. Thank God when the rain stops and the sun shines again. You have what you say. You have what you say. I can't even get into your vibration, Violet, anymore because I, I, you're, you're, not, you're not energetically where I live. That's not my address. That's that's not my that's not my address. I don't I don't I don't live on negativity lane. I lived on loved and lovable lane. I don't I don't live on negativity lane. I live on loved and lovable street. Have you ever been to Love the Lovable Street, Poppy Watson? I'm there right now. I got Th three houses. <laughs> Thank God when the rain stops and the sun shines again. Think higher power when the rain stops. And this is a great, uh, this is a great, <laughs> oh, Frandella, yes, you are. <coughs> Frandella's my neighbor. Can you bring me some water? I'll bring the coffee closer. Magical. Thank you. And a little more creamer. Oh, maybe not. It's because there's cinnamon on it. There's cinnamon on top. Thank you. There's cinnamon in my coffee. I got hugs in the shower and cinnamon in my coffee. It's going to be a great day, folks. I don't care what nobody says on the internet today. I'm blessed and highly flavored. I got hugs in the shower and cinnamon in my coffee. I'm thinking higher power that the rain is stopping. I want to speak that word over Violet and Frandella and Tara and Poppy Water and everyone else in this space. Uh, we are so grateful. That's another tool we use in our community. I'm just loading them up. I'm loading them up with all the cheers, Frandella. Cheers. First sip of the day, the best one. Cheers to you. Cheers to life. Yes to life. Oh, yes to life. Think higher power that the rain stops and the sun shines again. I don't know who needs to hear that this morning. We have a saying in our community from Bob Proctor, I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm so happy and grateful now that the sun is shining. I'm so happy and grateful now that the rain has stopped and the sun is shining. Oh, clink, clink. Clink, clink for love. Clink, clink for love. Yes to life, yes to love, yes to opportunity, yes to believing in myself, yes to seeing a bright future for myself. Yes to seeing a bright future for myself. Drop a one in the chat if you see it for yourself and you see a bright future. Drop a one in the chat this morning if you see a bright future for yourself. Anybody see a bright future for themselves? It's only you. That's why I said number one. Oh, Frandella got it. Drop a one in the chat. Oh, yes, Tara Praolo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. You have what you say. Bright, 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 bright future for everybody who claimed it this morning. Drop a one in the chat. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ask, believe, receive. I'm so happy I'm so happy and grateful now that I feel it and I receive it. This vibration. You know that you can actually make your body feel excited about the future? I'm a professional performer. So sometimes before going on stage, I may not want to be there, but I make myself excited to be there. You have to make yourself excited excited to be there. Oh, I know you have a light too, Violet. I'm so happy, grateful now that you see your, I'm so happy and grateful now that you see your light. 
I'm so happy and grateful now that you see your light, that you see it for yourself. Let me let me end here today. Uh, we, we can be grateful we'll be guided through everything in our lives, including how to survive storms. We can be grateful we'll be guided through everything in our lives, including how to survive the storms. If you're out there under the sound of my voice this morning and you've got a storm in your life, start being grateful and, and thankful that you've survived that storm already. I know this may be very, very hard for people to hear, but if you are out there under the sound of my voice and you've got a storm in your life, I'm grateful too to be in this community. If you've got a storm in your life, start being thankful and grateful and happy now that the storm is subsiding. Be grateful and happy now that the rain has stopped. Start, if you are in a storm right now and there's a dark cloud over your house on negativity lane, start being grateful and happy now that the sun is shining again. Ha! Hallelujah! Start being happy and grateful now. Thank you for sending me what I need to learn, higher power. I would not be here without it. Come on, you better pray this morning, Peppa. You better pray this morning. Thank you for sending me what I need to learn. And thank you for sending me help. Thank you for sending me help. Thank you for sending the help that you've already sent. And thank you for sending me the help. Turn off focus mode. I'm not asleep. I'm not asleep. I'm very much awake. Before I go, I'm going to tell y'all the three fundamental truths of Dr. Flo. Every day, they don't change. Okay? A zebra don't change their stripes. Number one, you are loved and lovable. You got that message when you walk into the space. You are loved and lovable. You've always been loved and lovable. You're always going to be loved and lovable no, no matter what. That's number one. Number two, you are imperfectly perfect, whole and complete, exactly as you are right in this instant. And you have everything you need in your hands right now to accomplish your dreams. I know you don't feel that way necessarily, but you are imperfectly perfect, whole and complete, exactly as you are. You have everything in your hands right now in this instant to complete your dream and your life's assignment. Number three, you got to see it for yourself. You, you got to see it for yourself. You got to really believe in your dreams more than anybody else in your communities do. Okay? These are my principles. You're loved and lovable. You're imperfectly perfect, whole and complete. And you got to see it for yourself. You have to believe in yourself. It does not matter what the external influences say. It doesn't matter if all your friends and your family look. We've been talking about this for years, those of us who've been around for years. And there have been many of us who've been around for years. I'm grateful. I used to get so uptight that my family and my friends would not come to my live streams. Then I realized that a lot of them dwell in vibrations of their own choosing. Some of them don't like witnessing me see it for myself. Some of them do not like witnessing me see it for myself. But I gotta see it for myself. I have a worldwide mental health ministry in my pocket. Anybody want to touch and agree on, uh, with me on that this morning? If you're loved and lovable and you know it, clap your hands. I have a worldwide mental health ministry in my pocket. This little rectangle of glass and uh, metal. Oh, hey, Friendella, thank you so much. I just needed one person to touch and agree with me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah. All love, all power, all sound mind to Frandella. All love, all power, all sound mind. All love, all power, all sound mind. And so if I didn't see it for myself, I wouldn't get up on here every day in front of thousands of people and boldly proclaim a word of love. Thank you for the follow. Queen C, 
Queen C on third eye day. I love it. S E E. Queen C followed on third eye day. I see you, Queen C, and I see it for you. Do you see it for yourself? We gotta go. Who voted that they're coming to Cora this morning? All right, we got people that are coming. So I gotta go. Uh, Y'all, believe in your dreams. Tell five people today that they are loved and lovable. If you tell five people today that they're loved and lovable and you mean it when you say it, it's gonna change their lives. You're welcome, Queen C. You're loved and lovable. This morning I've been blessed to tell 3,000 people, I love you too. I love you too. We'd love to see you in the core groups of Love and Action Network, live chat at lovedandlovable.org. Thank you for being here. 3,000 people this morning received the message that they are loved and lovable into their hearts. Y'all watched as some rejected it, but you also watched Frandella receive it. You watched Queen C receive it. You watched Tara receive it. You watched Officer Brentley receive it. 3,000 people openly took into their hearts. 3,000 people today saw on their screens the way that you did when you walked in. You are profoundly loved and lovable, and no one can change that about you. Have a wonderful day. I'm grateful for your presence. I'm grateful for your energy. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Uh, it's my day off, but I, I still stop by because love doesn't take a day off, and so neither do I. And uh, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering, and may a bigger love today hold you in its big, 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 big hands as above, so below, as above, so below, as above, so below. Thank you, higher power. Thank you, higher power in me. I'm so grateful for my life and I'm so grateful for this present moment. Ariga Ganoush Kadu, Abasusu, Marza Benuto, Hakuna Matata. Under his eye, blessed be the fruit. May the Lord open. Amen, Ashe, Namaste. So it is. Abasusu. Abasusu, folks, you're loved and lovable. Abasusu. Thank you for being here. Abasusu, have a wonderful day. Abasusu.